Hey guys, it's Fisao here, back with another Finance Friday video. This is the fourth, I believe, and this time around, it's about YouTube, specifically my YouTube channel and how much I made from one video having over 150,000 views. Actually, we'll be looking at more than one video. We'll be dissecting how YouTube actually pays me and how YouTube actually pays YouTubers. 150,000 views might seem really small in the grand scheme of things, and it is, but this video in question made way more money than any other video on my channel, now that I think about it. Uh, it's the highest end video, and I have a video with over 700,000 views. Anyway, that's one of the main reasons why I'm making this video. Apart from educating you guys about finance on Fridays, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys the back end of my channel and the statistics, the numbers and everything, and I'll explain what it all means. If you're interested in learning, please hit that like button so more people can see this analysis that we're about to share. And as you always say, without further ado, let's get to the video. Before I move on guys, I want to warn that I will never put my phone number out there to ask you to WhatsApp me like this in the comment section of the videos. Whenever I comment to show a verified sign, so please, please don't respond to any channel claiming to be me as they are fake and fraudulent profiles. Please just ignore them so that they don't scam you. Unfortunately, someone was almost scammed of $50 and I had to intervene. Please. Please be careful out there. Okay, back to the video. The whole idea of this video is about sharing the growth of the channel and of course, that can be possible without you who's watching. The intention is not to brag about anything at all, it's mainly educational. You know, that's what I'm trying to maintain with the new Finance Friday series as we focus on tech for the rest of the week. I started this channel because I have a huge passion for technology, especially mobile technology, and I kid you not, I've used over 100 smartphones in my lifetime. If you ask me about what I'll become when I was a child, I actually wanted to become a banker or a teacher. I also had passion for art, but I never really saw myself in the kind of space, let alone to have used 100 smartphones in my lifetime. That is crazy to think about, but we've reviewed multiple smartphones, applications, and tech brands on this channel in the over four years that we've been around and we've reached 133,000 subscribers and almost 10 million views that means um about 10 million of you or you guys have watched my videos about 10 million times wow when i first started out i made only three videos in the first year which made us a grand total of wait for it one cent so that's four naira and 85 cover the first video i made i was an interview with an uber driver i later moved on to reviewing the apple watch in november and another follow-up video of the apple watch in december that was all I made for that year. The following year in 2017 was when I started to take YouTube a little bit more seriously. I got 196,000 views throughout that year, making $94. It kept growing. Of course, I had 1.2 million views in 2018. I made $794. But in 2019, I had my first sort of viral, most viewed video till date. That video was about the Samsung Galaxy A10. It was one of the highest selling phones of all time in that year that I made the video. It was really talked about and it was one of the most value for money phones. In fact, that video was also featured by Mr. Who's the Boss hey, Fisayo. when he was making some uh, explanations about the S10 Lite. So, it did quite well. It got a total of 700,000 views since it was published in May of 2019 till now in March of 2019, almost two years later. That video has made a total of $1,341, which is a lot of money when you think about it. As at the current rate in Nigeria, that's 650,000 Naira, but it, it took almost two years. Further dissecting this video, we can see that the CPM or cost per meal is $4.72, which uh, is how much the advertisers paid to put ads on my video. And the amount I'm taking per thousand views is the RPM or the revenue per meal, which is $1.90. If you don't understand the terms, check out my video on how I make $500 per day with my five sources of income with the card up above or the link in the description of this video. I explain everything about YouTube, uh, the YouTube revenue and my other sources of revenue in that video. So if a 700,000 viewed video makes $1,300, how much could 150 even make? Before I go into the main video, let's check an actual 150,000 viewed video, another video. This video has the exact same views or almost the exact same views as the video we'll be talking about later that made the most money on my channel for one video. This is the Nokia 7.2 review. I published this video in December of 2019. This video is sort of an in-depth uh, cinematic review of the Nokia 7.2. I dissected everything you should know about the device after I used it for over a month. This video made a total of, wait for it, 
$293.58. So that's quite some money, about 137,000 Naira within the space of one year and three months. The CPM or the cost per thousand, uh, the amount the advertisers pay was $5.27. The revenue I got was $1.81, which is a little low in the grand scheme of things, but I'm super grateful for even getting the opportunity to have to make something like that. The thing is, YouTubers like me and the rest of the creators that you probably enjoy watching and you know, they make money from ads. You know, those ads that you can skip with the, with the skip ad button and the arrow, that's how we get paid. And there are some theories that people get paid when the viewers watch the videos, uh, watch the ads instead of skipping the ads. Of course, advertisers even try to optimize the delivery so people get the gist of the ads in the first few seconds before they skip. Advertising rates are very different and they are based on a couple of things. They are based on the country that you come from or the country that they are advertising to. For instance, ad rates in the US can be as high as $7 to $20, sometimes $30 per thousand. And you saw in my previous videos, I'm averaging like $5 per thousand views for the advertisers and that's because YouTube takes a whopping 45% cut. So at the end of the day, I'm kind of left with a very small amount and that's based on some of the, some other factors, which is why I'm left with like $1 RPMs or even lower because of where I'm from. Oh, I'm from Nigeria and the actual CPMs are very, very low here. So it just makes sense for advertisers since the purchasing power in Nigeria here isn't so much compared to that of the US. So the advertisers can spend a modest amount of money. Again, watch my video on how I make $500 per day if you want to get the full gist. I'll link that in the description below. Another factor that influences advertiser rates is the kind of topic that you're talking about. If you're making vlogs, for instance, the rates could be very, very dicey because it's not centered on a setting topic, it's about you. It's more of a lifestyle and you know that could range from you talking about an interesting piece of your day to talking about a place you discovered. It could be anything really that makes up a vlog. And you know, a vlog channel can make anywhere between the standard one to two dollar per thousand to maybe eight dollars per thousand. Some other entertainment channels like you know those that make comedy skits and pranks as well also have similar rates. And you know, depending on the region of people who are watching some of the very profitable niches like the e-commerce niche or the affiliate marketing niche or the dropshipping niche can make as high as 12 to 22 dollars per thousand because the advertisers are very much willing to spend that much because of the amount of value that they hope to get back from the ads there's also finance trading and investing which makes a decent amount from what i've seen they can make anywhere between 7 to 20 dollars cpms or more and there's product reviews content creation you know content creation niches fashion and beauty which can go up to five dollars per thousand or even more again it depends on where the viewers are from i know i keep asking you guys to check the video out but seriously you can check the video out i break down the income that i make but just like me many other creators that have come before me don't make all of their revenue from youtube some would say that youtube is not even the main source of revenue and it wasn't the exact main source of revenue for me the whole time either all right enough with the gist let's head over to the video i made that made the most money on my channel so far so at the wake of 2021 this year the central bank of nigeria decided to ban cryptocurrency sort of they decided to remove the banking system from the equation and i made a video about that because i previously made a video on how i made and saved money with bitcoin or cryptocurrency that video that i made talking about bitcoin ban has 156,800 views same with the nokia video i shared that made 293 dollars this bitcoin ban video isn't even up to 700 000 views like the video on the samsung a10 uh, that i shared that made over 1300 dollars so how much did YouTube pay me for this video that we made last month in February? Are you ready? Well, since it was published on the 9th of February, being just over one month, approaching two months today, it made exactly $1,600. When converted to Naira, that's about 776,000 Naira in a month. And that's just the one video. <sighs> what? How? I, I've, I've actually never seen that kind of money before. I, what? Anyway. And that's just one video. Imagine if we could actually be making that every day. The funniest part is that there are actually YouTubers that make this every single day. Like, think about it. It's, it's insane. You know, 
I'm super thankful to all of you who's watching this video and all of you that watched that video and shared that video. I made that video with the mindset of informing people about an economic situation. I did my research, I thoroughly read, I read numerous articles and I paid for sources. I did a lot of hard work on that video and to see that video pay off made me very, very happy. Um, at almost, almost to the point of tears even. So thank you so much for watching. I'm super grateful that you guys watched that video. The goal for this channel is always first and foremost to educate you about smartphones, technology, the broader technology, and more recently, financial education. I was on the phone with my parents the other day and my father, who is a lecturer, kind of teased that I'm doing his job now. And we also laughed, you know, about the fact that I studied economics in the university and um, I'm sort of teaching about economics of smartphones and now financial education. So yeah, my life, you know, life comes at you fast. The CPM for this video was $16.10 on average and the RPM, how much I made was $10.22, which is really the highest average CPM for me ever on the channel. I've been used to $1.50 CPMs and uh, just jumping all the way from $1 to $10 is like a 10 times increment. So yeah. It's worth making a video about. <laughs> Further dissecting this video, there was also a 10.5% subscriber viewing rate, which is kind of normal. 15,000 of the people that subscribed to my channel watched that very video, which is very common. The male to female rate for this video was 91.6% to 8.5%. So a very small amount of females watching. I wonder why. Nigeria still takes 41% of the viewers, but there's 21% US audience, which of course, as you know, the higher the country's CPM, it definitely helps to drive up the advertisement rate. So a 21% US view rate is very high. There's also a theory that the age bracket also matters because the older the audience, the higher their purchasing power sort of and you know the higher the cpm for those audiences as well so the age range for this video was between um 25 to 34 which is pretty high and also pretty great this video has a total number of 13,300 hours watched which is the same as someone watching my video for 542 days straight or one year and four months straight which is a lot I started out the Finance Friday series to educate people about the topic because I had an idea of the kind of videos I loved and the kind of videos that I wanted to make. In addition to tech, being someone who studied economics in the university, I also love numbers and I also love personal finance. And if my interests collide with yours, you're welcome to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon beside that subscribe button. This video did well mainly because it's a topical issue and you know, in the country. And again, it's because of the niche, just like we talked about not too long ago. I want anyone who's watching this video to see this as some sort of motivation to start something that they like and they are passionate about. I believe YouTube and uh, content creation generally to reach an audience is a long run game of building a personal brand and a community and it can take years to build. This would be my fifth year um, as a content creator by the time it's November and I feel I can do a lot more and I feel I can do better and I know we can grow together. I'd love to hear your thoughts about YouTube or content creation so feel free to watch some of my other Finance Friday videos. I'll link them in the description below. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you have any questions at all, please comment below, let's chat and I'll see you in the very next video.